Hi everybody, my name is Dallin and welcome to the Bean Museum. This week's organism of the week is the hammerhead shark. So let's head on over to the saltwater exhibit. All right, so obviously there's no real hammerhead sharks in Utah, but here at the Bean Museum, we do have this model of a hammerhead shark. The name hammerhead shark actually encompasses two genuses and multiple species of shark that all have this unique head shape. Hammerhead sharks can be found in coastal waters all around the world. The largest hammerhead ever recorded was 19 feet long, and a shark that big would weigh well over a thousand pounds. Just a heads up, if you come into the museum and take a picture in front of the hammerhead, you can submit it to our website and we'll post your picture on our social media channels. Or you can send us a drawing that you made of a hammerhead and we'll post that too. Alright, so what makes the hammerhead shark unique? Well, it's just their head shape, obviously. Um, scientists think that there's probably two main reasons why this unique head shape evolved in hammerhead sharks. Um, first, hammerheads, like other sharks, have little tiny electroreceptors that can sense electrical fields in prey. And by having a wider head, they're able to spread these receptors out to be able to better sense prey. The second reason is because this wide head enables them to pin down prey on the seafloor. These guys really like to eat stingrays and so this wide shape really helps pin down as much of the stingray as they can. Now there is one thing that I really want to hammer into your head and that's that these sharks they won't eat people. They do eat a lot of things but there have been exactly zero recorded human fatalities from hammerhead attacks. Hammerhead sharks usually reproduce once a year and they're viviparous meaning that they give birth to live young that have developed within the mother's body. This kind of gives them a little bit of a head start. Baby hammerhead sharks are called pups, and a mother hammerhead will usually have 12 to 15 pups at a time. Now remember, if you head on over to our website, you can submit your pictures or drawings of the hammerhead shark. You can also view videos for previous organisms of the week, and feel free to submit some questions that you have about our upcoming organisms of the week. So that's all I've got for today. I'm gonna head out now. I'm worried that somebody might be after my head after all of these headphones. <laughs> now there is one point. Um, hammerhead sharks. Why do I always do this?